Joe in New York City, New York writes to me, Hey Paul, while there have been large advances made in digital to analog converters over the past 40 years, will a CD purchased in the 80s and 90s be limited by the quality of the A to D or the analog to digital converter that made it at the time the CD was mastered? Uh, this is assuming the original source was analog tape, which of course in the, in the 80s and 90s, you bet it was. Um, most of my collection is over 30 years old and I still prefer buying and owning physical media and will continue to do so. There has been tremendous changes, improvements in the technology of analog to digital recording, absolutely. So an A to D converter that we would have used in the 90s is just, uh, they went up about the same pace that DACs did. Now, you've seen a lot of improvements in DACs if you're into high-end audio because, you know, that's seen a big pace of DACs because every high-end audio manufacturing company like PS Audio, uh, like, right, just name it, is definitely coming out with the latest, greatest DAC all the time. And, and most of us don't make ADCs. Now, we've done a couple. We had a great one in the NPC. We are building a new state-of-the-art uh, analog to digital converter that we're using at Octave Records and Bob Stadther, our chief engineer, and I have, and Darren Myers, our, our chief an, uh, analog engineer, have been conspiring on, on how to do that. And so much progress has been made. Today, it's not uncommon to see very high sample rate, very deep bit depth, a to D converters that are DSD based, that are, and all of them are PDM based at, at their core. All modern DACs and all modern ADCs are PDM, uh, pulse density modulation, DSD, um, at their core. So all of them go through an SDM or a, uh, what's the opposite of an SDM? Um, uh, God, memory. See? Someone said, you sound like you're getting senile. Probably so. Isn't that what happens? Um, but anyway, the, the uh, SDM, the, the, which is a, a sigma delta modulator. Oh, of course, <laughs> delta sigma modulator. <laughs> um, an SDM is how we convert uh, something uh, into this, this one-bit noise-shaped system, and then uh, the opposite, uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. That's how we get it from analog back. And anyway, doesn't matter. The point being that all modern DACs and ADCs use this kind of um, uh, modulator to put it in. And then from there, it becomes PCM or it comes one bit DSD from that point on. And there's been tremendous improvements in the technology, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, anything that was converted from analog tape way back when, if you can find another conversion with a more modern ADC, you're gonna be in, in really great shape. So, all right, they're gonna ship me off to the old folks home here real soon. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow, bye.